and welcome to the demo on leveraging AI to generate audio for user-generated content in video games. For this work, we leveraged audio generative AI to create music and sound effects for user-generated content in video games. We, to demonstrate this, we have created two different games. The first game is a simple 2D platformer where users uh, can create their own custom level and we use Meta's Music Gen to generate dynamically uh, background environmental music that's based on the level that the user created. Game two, we leverage Meta's Audio Gen to create sound effects for a custom vehicle, uh, a game object that the, the users will create that they then get to test um, and see if that vehicle that they created can cross kind of a rough terrain. So let's jump into game one. To start, we have three pre-created levels that each have pre-generated, expertly created audio uh, for these levels. Level one, level two, and level three. But the user can also create their own level. And then bringing up the level editor, you can kind of create the gradient background for your level and set where the platforms are going to be. Uh, so let's maybe go ahead and create uh, like a rainbowy effect for our background. <clears throat> and as we do this, uh, the audio will be kind of based on what we are creating. And we have two different uh, methods for creating that audio. Uh, we can either create the audio from a text description of this level that we're creating. And to get that text description, we base it on background gradient color, where we have selected some moods that fit the theme of the various colors that we are choosing. For this rainbow color scheme, I believe the mood that we have chosen is playful. Um, we can then also set uh, some, some platforms here for our character to kind of jump on. Uh, and these platforms can also be edited to be kind of a specific color if you want. Um, so that way you can kind of fully customize your level and you can move where the user um, needs to kind of reach. So we'll try it first with this text description and we're gonna save this level um, this text description will then be uploaded to the server, which will generate the audio dynamically. That takes just a few seconds, so it's already ready, and we can go to our custom level. And you can hear the custom sound that was created. And now we can play this level. And we can come back and create a new level. So let's try this again, but this time we'll switch our music generation method to an image. In this case, it will take a screenshot of the level that we create, and we will use a two-stage uh, generative AA process. The first one is gonna do image to text descriptions, and then we're gonna use that text description uh, and feed it into the music generation. So again, maybe I create uh, a level here, and we'll keep it pretty simple. Um, and I can save it. And again, this takes just a couple seconds as it generates the audio based on that image. <clears throat> and once it is done, we can go ahead and go to some level. And you can hear it has generated a fully unique uh, kind of background music for this level. All right, uh, on to game two, where we are generating dynamic effects. For this game, users are allowed to create their own custom vehicle from a set of kind of components. So we might, uh, you know, create uh, some sort of vehicle with wooden wheels, car tires, cardboard boxes, logs, etc. Maybe put a computer on it. Um, and again, we, we kind of generate either a text description of this, which will kind of describe based on some physical properties, how heavy the vehicle is, what types of wheels are we using, things like that. Or we can take a screenshot and again, do that image to text and use the text to go to the audio. So let's go ahead and do this just text-based description. Click play. We're gonna again, gonna wait just a couple seconds. And there we go. 
that our vehicle is running through. And you can hear the custom sound that was generated from that vehicle. Going back into editor mode, we can now kind of maybe create something a little bit different. Um, and we can do it maybe based on the image this time. Um, so let's try something a little bit different. And we'll see if this is any more successful. So again, we're going to click play, wait just a couple of seconds, and then we should hear a totally different audio. And there we go. Once again, not successful. Um, so we might come back and do this one last time and hope that we can get it, get it working this time. Let's try to create kind of maybe a, a bigger vehicle with some big wheels that can get over these obstacles. Uh, just a simple way to connect them. And again, maybe we'll leave it on the image this time. Click play, wait a couple of seconds, and see if we're successful. There we go, we made it. All right, uh, so that wraps up our demo of leveraging AI to generate audio for user-generated content in video games. Thank you for watching.